In 1961, a wall was built through the middle of the city of Berlin, Germany, as a result of the capitalist communist tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union. This division of Berlin into East and West Berlin came into direct conflict with the lives and ideologies of East Berlin's inhabitants. It was this forced separation of ideologies that instigated the East Berliners' struggle against the wall and its disruption of their lives. The wall affected East Berliners' jobs, lives, and freedom. They were trapped in a communist mindset that they did not agree with. The conflict between the wall and East Berlin raged on for years, despite the Soviet government's later attempts to compromise by allowing controlled visitation to the West. Even after its fall in 1989, the Berlin Wall greatly impacted both German and global society. While it introduced ideas of separation and ideological division, its fall also symbolized the end of the Cold War. In order to understand the events that led up to the construction of the wall, one must look back to 1945, the year that Germany announced its unconditional surrender, thus bringing World War II to an end. After the war, Germany was split into four temporary occupational zones. The western part was split between England, France, and the United States, and eastern Germany was put under Soviet control. Meanwhile, tensions and mistrust built up between the United States of America and the Soviet Union. The Americans disagreed with the Soviets' ideas of communism and their plans of expansion. These tensions would eventually lead to the Cold War, a capitalist-communist struggle between the US and the Soviet Union. The Cold War was expressed in a variety of places, one of those places being Berlin, Germany. In 1947, the US proposed a plan to help Germany become more self-sufficient, as the occupation of Germany had been put in place for the purpose of rebuilding it. The Soviets disagreed with this course of action, hoping to maintain control over certain countries on their western borders. This disagreement led to the formal separation of Germany. The area controlled by the British, French, and Americans became the Federal Republic of Germany, also known as West Germany. The Soviet-controlled region, East Germany, became known as the German Democratic Republic, which was allied to the communist Warsaw Pact. Germany's capital, Berlin, was also divided into a capitalist part and a communist part. As time passed, East Germany became more and more entrenched in the communist ideology. This included the indoctrination of Marxism-Leninism into schools and the implementation of a centrally planned, increasingly state-owned economy. While the rest of Germany was divided by a fortified border, Berlin remained under joint occupation. It was because of this that Berlin became the ideal crossing point for East Germans that wished to escape to West Germany. Many Germans wished to escape the communist ideology, and thus fled. This hurt the East's economy motivating Soviet leaders to take action. In 1961, a division was erected overnight in Berlin, which was later fortified to be the Berlin Wall. The construction of the Berlin Wall on August 13, 1961, came as a shock and horror to both the inhabitants of Berlin and the rest of Germany. Citizens were cut off from their families and jobs overnight. Alongside that, East Berliners were figuratively trapped in an ideology that they did not agree with. Thus began the conflict between the Wall and the East Berliners. In an interview with the BID newspaper, former inhabitant of East Berlin, Freya Clear, described how the Wall trapped East Berlin in the communist ideology and the resulting brainwashing. When I was three, my father was arrested because he disagreed with a communist police officer. She describes how her brother served four years in prison simply for possessing texts by the Rolling Stones and the Beatles. It was at that moment, she says, that the GDR was over for me. I wanted out. A few years later, Freya attempted to escape. However, she was caught and dragged back to East Berlin. Freya's experiences helped portray the sobering reality of the Berlin Wall. It confined and oppressed the inhabitants of East Berlin by forcing them into an ideology and hindering their lives. The Berlin Wall had been built to keep East Berliners from getting out. However, its construction further motivated large amounts of citizens to escape. The inhabitants of East Berlin fought back with all they had. They tried to tunnel under the wall, drive through unfortified sections in lorries, jump over it, and even climb it. Large protests were held and anti-communist graffiti covered the wall. Guards were stationed on the wall with orders to shoot on sight. 
Over 160 people were killed while trying to escape to West Berlin. Opposition against the wall came not only from within East Berlin. Two U.S. presidents, John F. Kennedy and Ronald Reagan, visited Berlin during their respective times in office in order to speak up against the Berlin Wall. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Around 1987, the Soviet government offered a compromise. Inhabitants of East Berlin would be allowed controlled visits to the western part of the city. The opposition, however, could not be appeased and continued resisting. The wall was torn down in 1989. The Berlin Wall impacted the world in many ways, both during its existence and after its fall. The construction of the wall itself was an impactful event in Germany. During the years in which the wall was up, it caused riots and protests to be held. The East Berliners' outrage at the forced separation was expressed through this sort of resistance. The wall also instilled fear and anxiety into the hearts of Germany's people. The fall of the Berlin Wall was also a hugely important event in Germany. Its existence had many impacts on German society, both positive and negative. Shortly after the wall's destruction, East and West Berliners celebrated merrily. On November 9, 1989, Berliners rushed at the wall and began tearing it down with their own hands. Huge crowds stood upon and around the wall, singing and cheering. David Hasselhoff, the famous German musician, played a concert at the wall in order to celebrate its demise. The tearing down of the Berlin Wall was significant to Germany not only because it restored freedom and unity, but also because it helped Germany regain its pride. Germany's successful resistance against the wall and the resulting sense of freedom from the Soviets helped them to be proud of being German again and feel like their own country once more. After its loss in both World War I and World War II, Germany had become crippled and shamed, controlled by others and stripped of dignity. This newfound freedom from the Soviet Union and the sense of accomplishment accompanying the tearing down of the wall allowed Germans to feel national pride along with the hope for a self-sufficient future. The Berlin Wall did, however, have negative impacts on German society as well. The physical and ideological separation of the East and the West resulted in the developments of different ideas and ways of thinking. Residual sentiments of separation can still be found in Germany today, and the idea of another wall is, surprisingly, still discussed. Construction and subsequent fall of the Berlin Wall, on a worldwide scale, was also quite significant. The Berlin Wall was a physical manifestation of the conflict between the Soviet Union and the United States. Thus. The fall of the wall signified the end of the Cold War in Europe. The capitalist-communist struggle between the United States of America and the Soviet Union, sparked at the end of the Second World War, evolved into an ideological conflict that could be found in both the US and in Europe. A direct result of this struggle was the Berlin Wall, built in 1961 to separate communist-controlled East Berlin from capitalist West Berlin. The Berlin Wall conflicted with the East Berliners' lives and resulted in a struggle against the wall and the communist government that kept it there. The fall of the Berlin Wall was significant in Germany for unifying the country and reigniting a sense of national pride, while also instilling new ideas of separation. On a global scale, the fall of the Berlin Wall represented the thaw of the Cold War worldwide. The Berlin Wall still stays significant today as a symbol of division and of the conflict between capitalism and communism. The Berlin Wall will certainly stay remembered as a symbol of division and the struggle to overcome that division. <laughs>